in Barbados and throughout the Caribbean. We want the government of Barbados and the governments of CARICOM to know that we will never, 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 we will never accept forced vaccination. We will fight you on this issue of mandating experimental COVID vaccination for the people of Barbados and the Caribbean. Let us, let us remind our government that all of the so-called vaccines that are currently being administered to the people of the world are approved for emergency use only, only, only. only. Stop trying to hoodwink the people into believing they, that they are the same as the traditional vaccines that have been administered to generations of Barbadians. I say to our Minister of Health and our Chief Medical Officer, you are lying to the people. Yeah. Yeah. lying to the people when you declare these experimental vaccines to be safe and effective. How can you declare them as such when you know that they have not endured the proper clinical trials to prove them as such? These so-called vaccines are new, unapproved and investigational, approved for emergency use only. Let us remind our Prime Minister, Mia Motley, that on the on the 5th of January 1973, our government signed on to the United Nations Treaty, the International Covenant on Civil Rights and Political Rights. The Covenant commits its parties to respect the civil and political rights of individuals, including the right to life, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, Go on. freedom of assembly, Go on. electoral rights, yes. and rights to due process Go and a fair trial. All right. In Article 4 of this treaty it reads, the rights can only be limited in a time of public emergency which threatens the life of the nation. And right. even okay. then, no derogation is permitted from the right to life, freedom from torture and slavery, the freedom from retrospective law, the, fr the right to personhood, and freedom of thought, conscience, religion, and listen to this part, and the freedom from medical or scientific treatment without consent. <laughs> To mandate these experimental COVID vaccines would be a gross and egregious violation of this United Nations Human Rights Treaty, of which we are a signatory of. We say to the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association, we are not your slaves. How dare you? How 
How dare you think that your desire for increased business activity and your power to lobby government supersedes the health and human rights of the Barbadian people. We say to you, we will not tolerate your disregard and disrespect of our unalienable human right to choose what we put into our bodies. We are making a public record of all of the hotels, restaurants, supermarkets that have had the audacity to send threatening letters to their employees. We are serving you notice. We intend to organize we intend to organize ourselves and the people of Barbados into a solid war. And we intend to boycott the businesses of persons who have said <laughs> and unethical coercive tactics and COVID vaccination. We demand you cease immediately with the threat of discrimination, unemployment, seclusion and destitution.